Here the operation is addition. We can only add rational expressions if the denominators are exactly the same. Notice in this case they are opposites of each other, so we're going to take advantage of that. I'll write that as, I'll go ahead and rewrite the first rational expression. It makes no difference which denominator you choose, but choose one and make it the opposite, and if it's the opposite, it is 10 minus x. Now watch, I haven't changed anything. Negative times 10, that's negative 10, which is what I have, and a negative times a negative is positive, so that's positive x, and that's what I have. And up here I have 13 plus x. Now if you don't mind, at the same time, I'm going to take this negative and move it up here, and what is a positive times a negative? It is a negative, so this becomes minus, or if you'd like, I can do this. Instead of making this minus, I can move it up in the numerator. But I want my denominators to look exactly the same without that negative. So I pulled a negative out, and now I moved it up here. So now that the denominators are exactly the same, I have the right of making it numerator. Now let's go ahead and take off parentheses, and then it's going to be minus 13 minus x. Be very, very careful with that. And let's go ahead and simplify that then. Let's see, I have 3 minus 13, that's negative 10, and 2x minus x, that's plus x, over 10 minus x. Now look at these both for a moment. Are they the same? No, they're actually opposites of each other again. Let's take out a negative 1. I'll just choose the numerator. If I factor a negative 1 out, I'll have 10 minus x. Always double check, but negative 1 times 10 is negative 10, and then that's plus x like I have. So these will divide out, and the result is negative 1.